Okay, hello everyone. Um, it's been a few days since I made a post, it's been busy. But uh, tonight I wanted to kind of do a quick educational post, um, most likely gonna title it, um, how do I bottom fish? Um, there's a huge difference between bottom fishing and catching a fallen knife. And there's many different ways of bottom fishing, obviously. So I'm gonna just kind of show a few examples of how I do it and uh, make it a little bit educational from that regard. Um, nothing, nothing really changes much in the foundational uh, aspects of my trading. Um, by that, I mean, I still looking for an uptrend. I'm still looking for a stock that's spacing and on and on, right? Uh, good fundamentals, uh, so on and so forth. So that foundation that I base my trading on doesn't change. What change is where do I buy the setup in the pattern, in the base? And that's what I mean by bottom fishing. It's trying to bottom fish the bottom of that base. Um, where most likely when you're doing that, that setup is still at the left side of the chart of the base versus closer to the right side of the base. And if you guys don't know what, what I'm talking about from a base, left side of the base, right side of the base, you really should go back and read um, Mark Mervini's books um, and also um, O'Neill's books, obviously. Um, you would really need to have some foundation of what our basis and how they form on and so forth. So that's not what we're doing here. We're just gonna show you how I do bottom fishing and then show some examples and hopefully that helps you. Um, it's it's more risky. I'll show you one that I did recently got stopped out of. Um, it's If you're really new, you should wait until the base rounds up and then start building the right side. Um, they are higher probability to trade when they start rounding up the right side. They are less risky and new traders should just simply stick to that. But I wanted to do an education on that because human tendency is always about uh, buying things on sale. Um, and that essentially will you'll, you'll require you to try to catch a falling knife, which I don't do. But in my perspective, the better way of doing that is to find a low risk entry on a bottom fishing. Everything I do is based off of a low risk entry. If you're buying a falling knife, you don't know where the stock, the stock is going to stop. So it's hard to define a low risk entry doing it. So um, let's get started. Um, disclaimer, again, do your own due diligence, um, your own homework. It's not recommendation to buy, sell. Let me try to explain a little bit before we move to examples, try to explain a little bit what I mean by uh, buy left side and the right side of the base. So let's just um, do really a simple, so this is, you got your uptrend and then the stock now topped and it's building a base. And here's your base, right? So just, you got, let's just do that, okay? Um, this is your, left side of the base and this is the contractions and potentially you're breaking out here and then heading higher. This is your left side of the base right here. Let's uh, do that coloring here. Oops, let's do that coloring. This is essentially your left side of the base and this is rounding up and this is from here on, it's potentially your right side of the base. So we're gonna try to bottom fish them here. That's the bottom fishing I'm doing. And I'm doing it after they turn around, assuming this is the bottom of that base, okay? So let's take a look at examples and see how that looks like in real life. Always easy in uh, after the fact. Um, so LT, and H is example number one. If you search my 
Twitter feed, you'll find that post live on there. And I traded this. Um, the bottom fishing that I was trying to do is right here. And the reason why I was trying to do this is multiple. Obviously, all of these stocks are strong, have strong fundamentals, um, give or take. Um, so this was building a double bottom base, potentially. This is your double bottom. Um, this is your traditional pivot right here, up here. So I'm trying to fish this after putting in the double bottom and then starting to turn back up. And normally what I do with these is I start really small and then I build on that position because I am getting in really early. If this is the bottom of the base, I'm going to have most likely I'm going to have chances to add here, to add here, and maybe add on the breakout. So that's how I pyramid into a position. Can it be just go straight up from here? Yes, it can, but very rare. This is going to really base its building. So you're going to get some type of pivots on the right side. So this all, when you heard me saying left side, this is all left side. There's no right side yet. It's just one down, no right side, right? So that's what I mean by bottom fishing them. They're still too early in the base. And I played this exactly here. And I just unloaded it right at the test of the 50 downtrending 50, see how it's red, downtrending 50. Um, I think that was like two, two and a three quarter uh, risk to reward. Um, why did I sell it so soon? Market wasn't really doing well. Um, you know, stocks, pivots, leakage, stocks failing, stuff like that. Um, so I just kind of sold it. And I had, I had other positions as well. Um, not a big conviction in this one, but you see how how I, I did it, nothing changes. This setup here could be right here, right? It looks like many other setups that I do, um, that I do on this, up here on this side of the base, right? So nothing changes. Um, a lot of time, these setups are, are risky because they're underperforming the market most, Often than not, so you see the RS line downtrending and rent. Um, so they're they really have low chance of success. That's why you have you want to wait. Um, often they are also almost always they are below the 50 um, MA line. Okay, so they're really 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 deep 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 bottom fishing kind of cheat. Okay, there's some encouraging characteristics. This looks like a double bottom. Um, you have volume dry up. Um, you got red, 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 and then volume start drying out. The setup is still too close to the red. Maybe that's why it failed. I don't know. But this is kind of one example. Okay. And then I just kind of sold it back up to the 50. And then that's that was it. It's done. It really did not, did not do much. And it really has not recovered since then. All right. So that's example number one. Um, let's see if we have uh, another example here. So that's one I trade in um, recently. Uh, VC is another one that I trade in. And that one was back in December, 2022. This is another one. Oh, I, I wanted to do, I, want, I, I did have something to mention on LTH. Um, I, remember, I remember why I was also interested in it. Um, a lot of times what I'd like to see, I'm gonna delete this little bottom here. What I like to see in this setup is that this rounding of the bottom here is happening somewhere close to previous support. So if you zoom out here and then you take a look at LNTH, this area here was previous support. Okay, so that gives me just a little bit more conviction that um, this here potentially is going to work. So let's go back here, okay? This is what's the resistance, we broke out, tested it, support, and then back support, and then back support, and now building this, this cheat now. 
So I like to see that. Now, in hindsight, this looks like a really nice head and shoulder, right? And then broke down, and then all she, all she wrote. All right, so I wanted to point that out. So now that we did, let's, uh, let's go back to a different setup. Uh, VC, let's go back to VC. VC was another one. Um, again, uh, let's, let's kind of take a look at the support level. So if you kind of zoom out here, um, this clearly pulled back to a support area here. Okay, so let's put that in here so we can see it. Okay, um, so pulling back to the top of this big base and 200 turning back up and 50 still trending up. So this looks a little stronger than LNTH. And then you have, so let's uh, do the replay here. And then you have your RS turning blue here. Um, volume drying out. So I still look for all of the characteristics, but it's just deep in the base while I'm drying out. Um, and then setting a clear pivot. And then I bought it right here, squatted that day, but nothing to worry about. My stop was down here. You just let your stop be. Um, and then next day it recovered. Um, here's your strong uptrend before the, before the uh, setup. Um, pull back, back to strong base breakout support. And then you pick that up. So that is bottom fishing. Uh, you're still on the all left side. You haven't built anything here. And you start small. You never go big down here. And then you build out your position as it rounds up the base. Rounds up the base. Okay. You build up here and on the breakout, depending of how it breaks this. So depending on how it rallies back up the high and sets up. So you potentially start here, build some here, and then build more here and then a break on. Okay, good. That's the second the second one that I want to look at. Let's take a look at one that did not work. Uber. This one did not work. So Uber, I bought Uber here. And again, what is this doing? All left base. Okay, so we got the rally. Uh, we got a strong rally. And now it's pulling back. But it's all left side. There's no right side here yet. And that's what I was trying to do with this one. And then you can see downtrend it hasn't even broken the downtrend. So that's it for me. That's bottom fishing a setup because it's not have not turned back up and reconfirmed its uptrend, okay? Um, I bought it right here. My stop limit got filled on this pullback that day, and then I got stepped out down here on this day, okay? Frustrating, but you gotta, you gotta take your stop. Um, again, characteristics, right? A um, little, little red here on, on this pullback, and then nothing encouraging the whole way. Right. Volume dry Brian means selling stopping. That doesn't mean it's going to work. It's going to stop you out. So this is also, I consider, bottom fishing, um, the setup. Okay, let's take a look at um, Vive. is also another one that I trade in. Um, well, not, not this, but this is a good example. I traded Vive here. This made it on my list after it had the earning and the highest up volume in a year. That's what the cyan color is. And I missed the setup here. Don't know why, but I did. I think it was too early. I wanted a little bit more. Um, but then it gave me this setup right here, which is really, really, really sweet. There's your downtrending line, kind of the pull, pull back, back to the 21. Here's your big uptrend. Uh, let's try that. Here's your big jump, here's your pull back and resumption of the trend. Um, so I bought it above the high of this day. Um, so that would be, and this was too early and that's why I sold it too early. When I trade these, 
and they're kind of really just messed up. I think this probably was one of the better setups that day, probably why I took it. Um, and really mainly why I took it is change of character, low, low, low risk entry. I mean, look at the volume dry out here, right? There's nothing. Um, so this was really, really, really low risk entry. So if you, if we put our uh, low risk entry measurement here, I have a video that I shared about that. It was my stop down here. Um, and I was able to do 1R, 2R, 3R, 4R in three days, right? One, two, three, I, I sold it. I can't remember this day or this day or this day, somewhere in this place. Um, but this, it sets up a deep uh, uh, bottom, bottom fishing setup right here. See, so pull back, start to build this bigger base, failed the breakout here. And now it's building that bigger base. And then you can bottom fish it at the bottom of its base if you think this is the base, right? So this is left side. Oops, let's do that again. Left side, no right. And then you're trying to catch it while it's rounding up the base, okay? And this was here. I didn't, I didn't see this one um, when it was setting up. You don't necessarily see all of them when they're setting up, but this is another good example of how you can bottom fish um, the setup, okay? Same thing, you wanna look at those characteristics that we always talk about. Pull him back, you look at the price, looks scary, look at the volume, looks okay, looks fine. Let's just probably pull him back because the market is pulling back. Um, and then it rips on earning, and now it's pulling back here. Um, there's no bottom fishing here yet. Um, it's just not, I mean, you see how clean this is. This is not, not that yet. Um, and I wouldn't call this really bottom fishing. You know, this is deep in the bases with bottom fishing. This is still high in the pattern. So anyway, so that's another one. Um, hopefully, you know, showing you examples like this will kind of make this resonate um, in, in, in your brain. Um, CF is was was one back from 2022. I didn't buy it. Um, I was watching it and I remember it very well because I rarely, rarely buy stuff that goes all the way down to the 200, I may. Um, but this was in a clear, 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 clear up, uptrend. Um, so it's up, you know, some stuff. And and this, if you, if you guys remember for fertilizer stocks, um, in this area here, we're just ripping really, 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 really strong. Um, so that's why this was on my list alongside like a few other uh, fertilizer stocks that were really strong um, that year. And it pulled back all the way to the 200 MA um, and then really sets up clean, 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 clean supply line here, um, you know, around that 88, 88 level. Um, and, you know, if you, if you want to, buy these, you can, um, but this is, you know, strong uptrend again, right? Let's do that, strong uptrend. And then you're building that base, but you're all left side. There's no right side yet. This is what I'm talking about. This is the right side. You see how it sets up another buy here, okay? So this is your left side, and now you're turning back up, and this is where you're trying to bottom fishing on that deep turn. This happened to be on the 200, and then you buy it above here, stop down here, stop down here. It's really not that, that not that, uh, I don't think that's a lot. Uh, it's 5%. And then if you put multiple on it, all the way down here, you can do it down here, you can do it down here. You see how the multiple, but let's just give it 5% stop. Um, you got your, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. And this is how you pyramid. This is a good example of how you pyramid. So you buy it here, and then you just patiently wait for the 50 MA to turn back up. 50 MA, you want that to turn back up to give you the support and the inertia and the uptrend confirmation that you need. And you wait for the setup, and it didn't happen until higher. So now you've got your right side, it's your left side, it's your right side, it's the handle. And then you can add to your position here, okay? 
and then it broke out here, just too much too fast. Um, and then really volume never came. Look at the volume here on the, on the breakout. Um, it came all the way up here, but I don't necessarily look for volume when they break out, but this is kind of how you permit, okay? Um, let's see, I think I've got uh, a little bit more. Let's take a look at PayPal. Uh, it's one I traded back in 2021. I'll show you guys examples from previously as well. Um, so there's PayPal. Um, I bought this here. This is not necessarily bottom fishing, but uh, I want to show you the two bottom fishing setups that took place. You guys re see the support that I was talking about. I'd like to see when I'm trying to bottom fish, I like to do it off of support, off of a base that's building. So you got the support here, support here, support here, support here. And now it's giving you that bottom bottom fishing left side potentially rounding, okay? Um, so you could play that bottom fishing and then you could do that right here somewhere. And it happened that this is supporting the 21 EMA right here. And you see how that supported the price. This is your previous pivot here. And then that wedged up pulled back, you could have potentially played this. And yes, it didn't work, but you need to kind of realize what you were looking at. Um, let, me, let me do that, right? So if you were really live looking at this like this, this looks like a nice pullback buy, right? You gotta be honest with yourself, it does. <laughs> um, it has all the characteristics of a good pullback buy and it didn't work. So if you bought this here, start your position, and you're getting this pullback and a nice dry up in volume, nice pocket pivots, okay? That is viable 100%. Um, so you buy it coming out of here, like this did, and then you're happy. And then after that, you get stepped out, okay? And then you'll be out. So half here, half here, You'll be out probably scratch scratch on this uh, on this uh, trade. So let's move it forward and then show you the other bottom fishing that happened. So the other bottom fishing happened right here again. Back to support, higher support. So that's a good sign. A little bit red here, but that's around earning. So you expect volume to be higher around earning. So not too concerning. Um, and then you buy that. Coming out, this you've got the uh, mini coil here, so you can buy it above here, or you can buy it just you know above here. It's really this looks like the better pivot. And then you start your position here, and then you add here. And whoops, and this is where I bought it. Um, I didn't really do this one. Didn't do this one. I bought it here. I bought it coming out on this day. This was a really 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 nice setup, and. My stop limit got triggered on this day, squatted a little bit. And then the day after, another squat. And then the day after, bulls took control and then um, drove the price higher from there. Okay. So um, I hope that helps. Um, quite a bit of examples. Um, you should go back and watch it again um, and take some notes. But um, and hopefully, hopefully that really kind of uh, gave you an, an idea on how I do uh, uh, bottom fishing and how I execute on it. And like I said, the foundations of my trading still exist. I'm just trying to get way earlier in the base and try to catch it rounding up that bottom. And that's what bottom fishing, bottom fishing can, kind of concept coming from. Hope that helps. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you later.